Hi, my name is Dan Grimm. I'm the founder and CEO of Melior Botanicals. We believe in the power of herbs combined with CBD give you the opportunity to change your life. I'm going to go over the most common questions asked about CBD and give you a direct answer and a concise answer so you can learn all about CBD in less than 15 minutes. Okay? So number one, what is CBD? CBD is an active cannabinoid in the cannabis plant. You can find it in the marijuana plant in trace amounts or in the hemp plant in large amounts. We have a hemp-based business, large amounts of CBD that we put into our products. Okay, What does CBD do for you? Well, it's tremendous for inflammation. The guys at Scripps, which is a local research house here in San Diego, said that CBD suppresses the precursor molecules that create inflammation. And we've seen this with our customers, through the science, and with my mother, who has really bad arthritis in her lower back, and I'll talk about, about that a little bit later. Uh, with anxiety, it helps more bioavailability of the serotonin. You get more of the serotonin in your brain. Sleep, it helps you get into a sleep-wake cycle, with seizures, with kids with Dravet syndromes, and huge stories of kids that have had huge success in, in getting over their seizure challenges through CBD as a neuroprotectant for older people that are dealing with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So there's a, a wide range. Me personally, I believe that a lot of that has to come back to its incredible ability to stem inflammation at the root, which is the cause of much of our disease. Will CBD get you high? CBD will not get you high. But CBD, what goes around CBD, could get you high, and that's THC. It's THC that gets you high. So the core question that you have to ask about your product, is there THC in there, and how much? If you go into a dispensary, there's a pretty good chance the CBD product they'll give you will get you high, unless you have a really high ratio of you know, 20, 30, 41, maybe not even 20 to 1. Our products that have THC have less than 0.3%. That's the legal limit for a hemp product. Hemp products are not going to get you high. If you work with a marijuana-based product, you're running some risk unless you know exactly what you're getting. There's also products that have no THC. They're CBD isolate. They, they obviously have, have no THC, and if you're looking for a no THC product, then that's really, really what you're going to be uh, looking for. Will CBD fail a drug test? Companies don't look for CBD. There are a few government agencies I've heard that look for CBD, but it, I've only heard that once. Generally, nobody looks for CBD in the corporate world. Uh, they look for THC, okay? They look for THC, and... THC is, is going to get caught, right? So um, if there's THC in the product, over time, it will accumulate in your body and get you high. At less than 0.3%, our products, if you take it one or two times or even for a week, you're not very likely to get popped on a drug test. But over time, it will accumulate in the body and you, will, you would get popped for a drug test. So you want to look for either no THC products uh, if you're going to take a drug test, you're, take, you're looking for no THC products, okay? Side effects. I've read a lot about different side effects. Occasionally, we hear some weird stuff like upset stomach or, or nausea, but those are few and far between, really. The, the, the core side effect is sometimes it's going to make you tired, which for some people is exactly what you want anyway, right? So it could make you tired. It doesn't make everybody tired, but it could make you tired. The reason we have a lot of people that buy from us that are on pharmaceutical meds because the meds are taking are 65% effective and 35% creating another problem, okay? That's the challenge, right? The beauty of CBD is the side effects are very mild compared to your pharmaceuticals. You can't overdose on CBD. Um, how do you figure out if the CBD you're getting is high quality? Well, here's a couple questions you ask your, your vendor. Where are you getting your CBD? You want CBD from America. CBD from China and the Ukraine is proven to be inconsistent with its quality. And that's probably putting it nicely. Okay? The second question you want to ask is, do you, have a, do, you, do you get lab tests? Do you have a COA? A certificate of analysis? What kind of tests do you run? You've got to run tests. If you don't run tests, you can't confirm that the, that the potency is what you believe it is, what the math formula says it is. 
Um, and then you need to run some tests that go for uh, that look for pesticides, solvents, and microbial. So ask them for a certificate of analysis. They get a third-party lab to run tests. Okay, those are two ways to get a feel for whether you're going to get good quality CBD. Consistency. Do you have to be consistent with it? Consistency is a topic nobody's talking about, and it's incredibly important. We've got people that try the product and have an impact within an hour. We had a guy recently come to our booth and he took the product, he had a carpal tunnel. He was in intense pain. He walked around the event. He came back an hour later, he was hugging us, okay? For every one of those, there's at least two that it takes the second day, the fifth day, the seventh day, the 10th day. My partner's mother-in-law, she's got really bad arthritis in her hands. She tried our product six straight days. She felt nothing. Zero. In the seventh day, she called us. She's like, I could write a grocery list for the first time in years, but it took a week to get there. Okay? So consistency is incredibly important. If you want to use it sporadically, you only want to use it when your knee flares up or that time when like, you want, you're, like, you're having trouble sleeping, that's fine, but not in the beginning. In the beginning, you use it till it works. You let your body get adjusted to it, and then... And then you could use it sporadically, but in the beginning you need to be consistent with it. Uh, so daily, right? How many times a day? Personal, okay? Start with once a day. Get to where you're comfortable with it. Your body's comfortable with it. Some people, that's all they need. Other people want to use it two or three times a day, okay? So it's very personal, okay? But start with once a day. Um, ooh, dosage. Big question, okay? Dosage is incredibly personal, okay? You got to find out what works for you. But here's some guidelines, okay? Number one, one milligram of CBD for every 10 pounds. If you're a 200 pound guy, then start with 20 milligrams, okay? If you're a 100 pound gal or 100 pound guy, then 10 pounds is, is, is more your range. You want to go a little higher than that ratio? Fine. You want to sleep? Sometimes sleep needs a little bit more, okay? If you're looking for focus, it needs a little bit less. The best thing to do is journal. Journal it, track it, use it for, for 14 straight days, okay? If after three or four days, you're not getting any efficacy, start increasing the dosage. It's very personal, okay? But you got to play with it. Dosage is a moving target. Uh, how, what kinds of products? You can rub it on your skin for topical. You can smoke it. You can, you can take it as a sublingual tincture. You can eat it. What's best for you? They say it's personal, but here's something to consider. Bioavailability. CBD is like a multivitamin. We're peeing most of it out. Okay? How do we make it more bioavailable? Either we put it under our tongue, under our tongue is a direct shot into the bloodstream. That's why sublingual tinctures are so uh, popular and powerful. For me, that's the best way. The alternative way is you could smoke it, but if you smoke it, you're smoking. And it's also not going to last as long. So smoking is good. Sublingual tinctures, in my opinion, are better. If you eat it, it's got to go in your gut. You got acids. You're going to be breaking down. You're going to be breaking down the gummy. And you're going to be breaking down the CBD, okay? It's got to run through the gauntlets that, you, that is your digestive system. Less bioavailability. Isolate versus full spectrum versus whole plant, okay? If you get drug tested, you need THC-free products with CBD isolate. If you're not getting drug tested, I highly suggest a full spectrum or even better, a whole plant product. Full spectrum means a full cannabinoid profile, not just CBD, but a little bit of THC. THC is important. It's, it's medicine. It's, uh, when it's less than 0.3%, it's not going to get you high. Okay? So full cannabinoid profile is all cannabinoids that are in the cannabis plant. Okay? Whole plant has everything that's in the plant. Terpenes, flavonoids, chlorophyll. This plant was, was created for a reason. Nature put it together for a reason. It's what we believe, that it works synergistically together. So, uh, so isolate has no, CB, uh, has no THC. It's just CBD. Full spectrum has at least a full cannabinoid profile. Whole plant has everything that's in the plant. 
and then travel. Can you travel with it? You could travel anywhere within the United States. You could ship it. USPS came out recently and said, yes, you could ship CBD, no problem. Okay? Internationally, that's a little trickier. You got to look up your country. If you're going out of the country, there's some countries that are fine with it and some that are not. So that you definitely want to look up. So, so there it is. In less than 11 minutes, there's your education on CBD. I hope that helps. I'm, with, I'm the founder and CEO of Melior Botanicals. We believe that the power of herbs combined with CBD to make functional products can help change your life. You can find us at www.meliorbotanicals.com. That's M-E-L-I-O-R botanicals.com. And you can also find us on Instagram and social media. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this helps.